No sign Sudan warring parties ready to negotiate, UN says. A U.S. broker this ceasefire in Sudan appears to be partially holding, but there is no sign the warring parties are ready to seriously negotiate, the U.N. special convoy on Sudan said on Tuesday. This suggested that both think that securing a military victory over the other is possible. Envoy Volker Pethes told the UN Security Council, this is a miscalculation. Sporadic gunfire rang out in parts of the Sudanese capital Khartoum on Tuesday despite a US brokered agreement between the warring generals to cease fire for 72 hours to pave the way for talks on a more lasting truce. Fighting broke out between the Sudanese armed forces and paramilitary rapid support forces on April 15th. Both parties agreed to resist fire bringing Tuesday after negotiations mediate, mediated by the United States and Saudi Arabia. It seems to be holding in some parts so far, however, we also hear continuing reports of fighting and movement of troops, said Pethers, who spoke via video from Port Sudan. Previous bids to pause the conflict failed to take hold, but both sides confirmed they had agreed to the three-day hold. UN Secretary General, Anto General Antonio Guterres described uh, the violence and chores in Sudan as heartbreaking. Guterres on Monday warned that Sudan was on the edge of the abyss and that the violence could engulf the whole region and beyond. The power struggle puts Sudanese future at risk and, and could cause suffering for years and set back development for decades, Guterres said. The, UN, uh, the United Nations has moved hundreds of staff and family members to Port Sudan from Khartoum. The UN plans to establish a hub in Port Sudan to continue working in a country where, even before the violence broke out, nearly 16 million people, one third of the population, needed humanitarian aid. Ten days of heavy fighting, including airstrikes and artillery baggages, have killed hundreds of people, many of them civilians, and left some neighborhoods of Greater Khartoum in ruins but in other areas there has been a reduction in the intensive of fighting since foreign governments scrambled road convoys aircraft and ships to get their nationals out since the weekend witnessed say witnesses said unconfirmed video played uh, posted on social media showed bewildered civilians walking down one street in Khartoum North, where virtual, uh, where virtually every building was bombed out and smoke was still rising from scratched ruins. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to